there have been a total of three category four or stronger hurricanes that have come ashore in the past 50 years. This year, we had three in 26 days. In my 32 years, I can't recall a time when we had seven consecutive weeks of hurricanes damaging the United States coastlines from Texas all the way to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. I've never encountered a period where we had four hurricanes over two months ago and had to be so flexible and, and to pivot from the Gulf Coast to Florida out to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. I don't think any units experienced a, a series of national catastrophes back to back to back to back. Nothing of this scale. The American military tradition of selfless service is exemplified by the U.S. Coast Guard and their outstanding example of the level of commitment to the mission in the aftermath of Hurricanes Irma and Maria. For the 7th District, it was all hands on deck. In fact, for the entire Coast Guard, it was all hands on deck. Someone asked me what the strengths and weaknesses of our organization are. I said one of the strengths is that we're deployed already throughout the coastline of the United States, and, and so we're able to respond very quickly after a storm. But that comes along with the vulnerability of our people, our families, and our assets who have also been hit by the storm. So we evacuated people, Coast Guard members and Coast Guard families, from the Florida Keys, from the Virgin Islands, and many Coast Guard families from Puerto Rico in response to the storms. We have to prepare and take care of our families. So people literally were, were having to throw things in a suitcase and get out the next day. They're like, okay, you know, my family's gone, you know, and they're almost in tears, but I'm in a much better place because now I can take care of whatever you need us to do. Well, the priority, obviously, in something that uh, intense or that serious is survival. And the, uh, beyond survival and ensuring all those members and families here Coast Guard housing and give them tools that they need to survive in the aftermath. We're a humanitarian service and we like to help people. That's why many of us join. Uh, and what stood out to me a lot in this particular case was that there were Coasties who needed help. Usually they're the ones going to provide help, but in this case, they were the ones who needed the help. You know, take a deep breath and a little bit of sadness, uh, but uh, here we go, let's, uh, let's start rebuilding. We ended up losing cell phones when we were down to four phone lines, analog phone lines. That's what we used to manage everything. I mean, we literally were doing the, heli the helicopters landing in the middle of the field. This is in housing. Pushing logistics into an austere environment, downrange hundreds of miles from, uh, from the continental U.S. Uh, was extremely challenging. So we're trying to push people, equipment, materials into, into a, a, an environment where there's no power, there's no water, limited communications. We've never done anything of this scale before. We've, we've carried around 1.9 million pounds of cargo and uh, over 500 people we've either taken in theater or evacuated out of theater and those numbers are just unprecedented. Multiple different units flexing from Hurricane Harvey to Hurricane Irma to Hurricane Maria to Hurricane, I don't remember what was after that. Um, uh, there's one night where I was in Texas, another night I was in New Orleans, another night I was in Key West, the next thing you know we're in Puerto Rico, St. Um, St. Thomas, St. Croix. I think the men and women of the 7th Coast Guard District have been remarkably responsive and resilient. They operated at essentially a continuous sprint pace for six or seven weeks. I, I could not be prouder of the way that they responded to the call. We asked a lot of them. We asked them to work long hours, to fly into areas uh, that were hard hit by hurricanes. We put them in the path of the hurricane. In every case, they absolutely answered the call in, in such a magnificent fashion. I really just feel proud of, of the work that we've done and the the initiative that people have applied, the innovation in which they're able to solve problems under very, very stressful circumstances.